It's just so fascinating to me that artists for 500 years have been trying to master representing three dimensions on a flat surface and she's doing the opposite. And that I found tremendously appealing and wanted to find out how I could get involved with that. I had the chance to meet Alexa and she turned out to be interested in the topic of time and timekeeping so she was kind enough to ask some questions. I started right in with the relatively complex idea called the equation of time. I kept saying well it's the difference between the time a sundial would show and a time a clock would show and Alexa came up with the analogy between natural time and shadow time which of course connects directly to the study of shadows the impetus for her starting as an artist and a painter. Right, what we're doing here is trying to freeze time and then we're going to put motion back in. The analemma is a pattern that you would see if you photograph the sun every couple of weeks at the same time of day with a camera pointing in the same direction from the same spot. What you see is a figure eight. The analemma tells us about the movement of the sun over a year. The moon phases are how we see the moon over the period of a month depending on where we are and where the moon is relative to the sun, more or less of the moon is in the light of the sun. For me, the measurement of time is about mindfulness of time and the time that we have on earth that our time passes, but sometimes, maybe, it's possible to keep it forever as a moment. It's important to have a sense of humor about yourself, to be willing to you know, have your head completely painted over and you know, appear as a representation of yourself. It's a privilege for me to be involved in Alexa's work. That's the number one thing. I'm just fascinated by people who have really novel ideas. And in Alexa's case, she conceived that such a thing was possible, and then she executes it with excellence.